Hello dear friends, I am here to dive deeper into the evidences on using continuous glucose monitoring, real time continuous glucose monitoring in patients only on oral hypoglycemic agents. These are my disclosures. We are all diabetes treating physicians. So let us start with a clinical scenario. A 58 year old gentleman with diabetes of 7 years duration with glycated hemoglobin of 7.8 percentage currently on glimipiride 2 milligrams and metformin 500 milligrams twice daily and 100 milligrams of citagliptin. A very common scenario in our country. Why has he visited me? He has visited our hospital for his extreme exhaustion for his recurrent episodes of symptomatic hypoglycemia. We advised him 14 days of continuous glucose monitoring with the new Libre flash glucose monitoring system. I will discuss the results later on. But before that, let me shoot a question on you. This is not rocket science. This is very, very simple. But use your common sense. Glucose monitoring is recommended in all the following circumstances except number one patients who are only on oral hypoglycemic agents number two only on basal insulin number three only on biphasic insulin twice daily number four only on diet and exercise number four none of the above the right answer is none of the above. I will describe the reasons during the course of my presentation. This is the clinical scenario in India. 50 to 80 percent of our patients with diabetes are not under control and a substantial number close to 80 percent of people with diabetes are only on oral hypoglycemic agents. So at one end, you have very poor control of diabetes in the country. And on the other end, you have the majority of patients only on oral hypoglycemic agents. Putting these two together, what is the inference? This is that population. This is the subset of those patients with diabetes who need to be more focused, who need to be on more aggressive monitoring. And these are the patients who shouldn't be ignored, should never be ignored. And these are the findings and the solutions that we recommended for our patient. Remember our patient? who was on three oral agents at the end of seven to eight days of flash glucose monitoring he himself started experimenting with various different diets to reach a successful target between 70 and 180 milligrams per deciliter and he was so addicted to the trend arrows in the Libre radar yes this is a new Libre Radar and we as a team started modifying the behaviors and the dosages of medications which resulted in 50% reduction in the dose of sulfonylurea and with the trend arrows time below range time above range all of them getting displayed in this particular reader the Libre Radar we as a team were very successful in making brilliant clinical decisions with an objective of a good metabolic control and better short term and long term outcomes in diabetes and with the realistic expectation I repeat with the realistic expectation in the next three months to reach an A1C below 6.5 a weight loss of up to 3 kilograms with profound improvement in the quality of life with no 
time below range with 100% time in range with further reduction in the dosages of medications. So if you ask me, the agent which is responsible for the majority of hypoglycemic episodes in our country, my answer will be oral agents for the treatment of diabetes, especially sulfonyl ureas. They contribute to the majority of hypoglycemic episodes, including the minor hypoglycemic episodes which results in eating more, gaining more body weight with further worsening of diabetes control, leading on to further worsening and the onset of complications. The discovery study program has globally demonstrated that 26.7% of the patients had an A1C above 9% and the highest proportions are those in Southeast Asia and the attained target of hemoglobin A1C below 7% is as low as 13.4% in Southeast Asian population and this is a stunning statistics. We need to focus on the patients with diabetes to overcome this barrier. The single most important barrier in reaching the A1C target is hypophobia, is the fear of hypoglycemia which is equally shared between the physician and the patient. And this hypophobia, the fear of hypoglycemia can be totally eliminated with the use of the new Libre flash glucose monitoring system, irrespective of the underlying therapy. From India, there are several documentations of the use of structured glucose monitoring. And this is a robust clinical trial incorporating 1000 patients with type 2 diabetes, including 21% of those patients who were only on oral hypoglycemic agents, demonstrating a statistically and clinically significant improvement in the glycated hemoglobin. In all groups, including the subgroup, only on oral hypoglycemic agents. And there are several documentations on the use of real-time continuous glucose monitoring systems in type 2 diabetes. And this is a multicentric study from India on the use of Libre Pro in type 1 and in type 2 diabetes. And further studies documenting the multitude of benefits using continuous glucose monitoring in type 2 diabetes, the evidence from the Indian subcontinent. And this is the liberate trial using Libre flash glucose monitoring in those patients with myocardial infarction. A recent publication demonstrating the evidence irrespective of the underlying therapy, whether they are on insulin or only on oral hypoglycemic agents. So we need to focus not only on patients on insulin. We need to focus those patients who are under poor control. The patients on oral agents are not under good control. They are contributing to the majority of the A1C which is poor in our country. So let me in the next few slides show some of those snapshots from the Libre reader which is used by a couple of our own patients. So this is, these are the trend arrows. So the, when the arrow is pointing vertically upwards, it denotes a rapid increase in the glucose values and that is above 2 milligrams per deciliter per minute and this translates to more than 60 milligrams increase in the glucose in the next 30 minutes. So these trend arrows are motivational messages to proactively prevent both hyperglycemia and hyperglycemia. The color coded images from the Libre reader 
on the time above range, the time in range. The slanting arrow denoting a slow decline in the glucose and 128 rapidly going down. The graphs, the average glucose is over the last 14 days and the same patient documenting a good control, a better control of diabetes during the last 7 days with the use of Libre. Of course, ambulatory glucose profile report is now something which is recommended and endorsed by the American Diabetes Association to be handed over to all those eligible patients with type 2 diabetes with the documentation on time in range, time above range and time below range. Also, in conclusion, the most precious entity for any committed physician it is the life of a patient which is priceless. Most of the advanced technologies in diabetes and in health are a little bit more expensive, but that is justified for a new technology. And it is always worth informing our patients on the availability of life saving technologies in our country. Why oh, forgot? This is an indication in my Apple Watch. My sensor has ended and I need to start with the new Libre sensor. Thank you dear friends. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.